Wow, I like it. Can I have a little, uh, yeah, up here, my little, little short Is it coming out there? There you are. <laughs> okay, well, how are you? You're an elf. Yeah, well, this is one of the outfits that I'm wearing in the new Christmas movie, The Smoky Mountain Christmas, yeah. which is shown on the 14th of December, <laughs> Sunday night on another network, and yes. it's not CBS. <laughs> <laughs> that narrows it but down pretty good. I'll see you there. Yeah. <laughs> Santa had an elf like you, he would never deliver on the 24th. <laughs> You, you look great. Well, I've been working hard at losing some weight. So, yeah, I noticed. Yeah, I've been on your show up and down. I finally got my head out of the lard bucket and lost yeah. a little weight. <laughs> Are you one of those people who gets uh, just compelling when you want to eat? You just Well, I love to eat. I love to cook. And the stuff I love to eat is always very fattening. Yeah. Stuff very country soul food. But I've uh, tried to do a little better, eat a lot yeah. of small meals a day. Oh, you're looking real good. My face is a little sore. I've been to the dentist today. So if oh. I talk through the side of my mouth, it's not. Unusual. Yeah. I hate you going there, don't you? I do, I sure do. Yeah. Well, so, speaking of Christmas, of all the Christmases you've spent, what's the most memorable one you had? Well, I remember every Christmas because uh, I love Christmas in the Smoky Mountains. We didn't have any money. We didn't really believe in Santa Claus. We thought if there was a Santa Claus, he is a sorry person because yeah. he hardly ever stopped at our place. Yeah. But What would your folks tell you? Well, uh, Mom and Daddy was always real good. We didn't have any money, because as uh, I think you mentioned, I'm from a big family, yeah. 12 kids in the Smoky Ooh. Mountains, and there's uh, eight kids younger than me, and so my Daddy was real handy making toys, so he used to make a lot of homemade toys out of empty spools right. that Mom, where Mom would sew, and she used to make a lot of cob dolls and sock dolls, rag dolls, that sort of thing. This so sound like a silly something. question. Did you know you were poor? Not if you're really. poor all your life and, and your neighbors are poor, sometimes you, you have nothing to compare it with. We didn't know it really until we were uh, older. I mean, yeah. We didn't think about being poor until you started wanting a lot of things. Because right. we always had each other and we had a lot of stuff that, that money came by. And at least we were always together on Christmas. And so it was always special. We always had a lot of, not always, but we often had snow. Yeah. And that was always great for That's interesting know, for about kids. Santa Claus. There was a thing, I think, in the L.A. Times today about where some minister was telling the children that there was no Santa Claus or something that created a lot of controversy among parents. And I can remember when my folks told me the first time that there was, really can't, when I was, there was no Santa Claus. And I was, oh, it, it really, you know, catches you off guard. How old were you? I was 28. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we do that every year. We set him up and we've been doing that as kind of a, what you'd call a Christmas joke. <laughs> I'm just being silly. You had especially good material tonight. I was watching you back there. Oh, you should have. You should have heard me last night, should have. Last night. <laughs> what did you do last night? I said... You think I'm good tonight? Last night I was dynamite. So you should, I think you should tell us. That... It's what's going on in Washington. You know, the writers get a hold of that, and, we, and you, there's some wonderful things going on back there. Well, that's You follow all that true. stuff at all? Well, yeah, I watch it pretty close. Yeah. Now, what would you want for Christmas if I had to go out and buy you something? I'm really the easiest person in the world yeah. to buy for because I love jewelry. Everybody buys uh -huh. me earrings. Uh -huh. But not expensive jewelry, not like your women. I like junk. Oh. <laughs> I like junk. Would you be just as happy with something <laughs> if somebody was going to give you a diamond? Now, be honest now. And they bought you a diamond. And if you get it, they say a, say a zircon that's well cut, you can't tell it from a real diamond unless you're a trained jeweler and look through that little whatever they call that. Would you be a loop? Yes, Freddie would know because he... Uh, would you be happy with something like that, knowing it wasn't a real diamond, but looked like a real diamond? No. But I... <laughs> no, I mean, if I was going to have a diamond, I'd prefer a diamond, but as far as junk things like earrings yeah. and little bangles and bracelets, and I love all kinds of uh, makeup, and so I'm real easy to buy for. Yeah. I love all kinds of things. I love all those things they show on the specials on television. Yeah. Like the Vegematic stuff and all that stuff. <laughs> You're I'm kidding. a sucker for, well, for any of those You watch the new shopping, things. the things oh, that are sure. going crazy in this country are the cable shows, the home shopping network. There must be half a dozen already, and they got a half a dozen more planned, where people sit, and they're on 24 hours a day. Have you seen those things? I know what you're talking And they always about. show you a, a room with, uh, ruby and sapphire diamond ring. <laughs> Retail, $6,000. Our price, forty-nine fifty. 
I'm saying, how can they do that? Do you, do you sell away for that stuff? Sometimes. I've always been a sucker for mail order catalogs. I, I mean, I just, I get on the airplane, even those gift catalogs they have in the plane. If I start looking at it, I'm like a kid. I think a lot of that goes back to my childhood. I used to always love the catalogs of Sears yeah. and Roebuck and Pennies and all yeah. the things they used to send. And I used to daydream. Mom always called it the wish book. It's like something coming from another land, isn't it? Yes, it is. You, know, you send away for something and then you wait for it to show up. But it never really is what... What it looks like in the picture, it's always yeah. junk. But the descriptions still... always are so great, it doesn't <laughs> yeah. quite work that way. Let me take a break. We're going to come right back. Talk some more. Say our in-person elf tonight is Dolly Parton. You were waving some people. You said you got some cousins here or well, nieces my, or nephews? My Aunt Dorothy Joe and my cousins Rena Kay and Debbie Joe are visiting me from the Smoky Mountains. Tonight. You must have a lot of relatives. It's one of 12 children. Oh, you have I nieces do. and nephews? There's a lot of kids What do you do family. for Christmas? Well, we usually get together and I mean, cook don't they expect everything. things from you? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we all used to, back uh, when we were all at home, we used to draw names. But now, with the nieces and nephews and with the little kids, it's easy because they prefer money. Because oh. they like to go <laughs> shop for themselves. And then when I'm out, I, I pick up things all year round, you know, when I'm traveling around. So I'm often yeah. seeing things that I think somebody I remember when like. I was very young, and in those days, when you'd get from your uncle or something, like a brand new $5 or $10 bill. It doesn't sound like much now, but when I was young. You get a brand new $5 bill. That was something. Yeah, kids always love money because they love the feeling of going in the store and just buying, yeah, and buying whatever they want. Yeah. Now, on your special, The Smoky Mountain Christmas, you play, like somebody said something like Snow White? Well, what do it's they mean a, by that? Uh, it's a story. Uh, it's an idea that I came up with several years ago, and I thought it would make a wonderful idea. I've always loved fairy tales. But if I made a story about a, a movie star and seven orphans in a, uh, instead of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So right. it's about a, a movie star that's kind of burnt out in Hollywood. She wants to go home just to gather herself. So she goes back to the Smokies and yeah. rents a, or takes a cabin, uses a cabin of a friend. And she finds there are seven little kids, orphan kids that have run away from the orphanage where they're very mistreated. So it's the romance between these children and this uh, woman. And so there's a mountain man who's played by Lee Majors and uh, it's Lee Majors a mountain Lee Majors man? is Mountain Dan he actually did a great job so it's the story of how these people all come together and we all fall in love and we all uh, live happily ever Does it after. have a happy ending then it has, happy has a very happy ending this is a very special story to me it was uh, directed by Henry Winkler who did a great job he loves children he has yeah. children of his own and he does a lot of work with kids and he has a, a special quality about him a very right. childlike quality so he really brought a lot of magic to it and we I, I really think the show good is going to be real good, good I'm point. excited about it you're gonna do a number from the show yeah I wrote a lot of uh, songs <clears throat> uh, for the movie it's not a, a musical but it has a lot of pieces of music right. in it and uh, I brought my guitar God, I saw your guitar it fell over a moment ago <laughs> it fell <laughs> over so it's probably in tune it scared me to death to do that <laughs> Anyway, this uh, is the title song. It's called A Smoky Mountain Christmas. Okay. And I'll do this for my folks okay. and for those back home. I'm dreaming of a smoky mountain Christmas With the kids around the fireplace Stringing popcorn for the tree I'm dreaming of a smoky mountain Christmas With nothing much that money buys But everything worthwhile in life Dreaming of a Smoky Mountain Christmas You can take the girl from the country I have heard them say But you'll never take the country from the girl And me, I've been a rambler for the better part of life But no matter where I wander in this world I keep dreaming of a cabin in my Smoky Mountain home As free as the hummingbirds, the butterflies and streams, as different as the snowflakes on the windows of my life. And I'm dreaming of Smoky Mountain Christmas with the kids around the fireplace stringing popcorn for the tree. Yes, I'm dreaming of a Smoky Mountain Christmas. With nothing much that money buys But everything worthwhile in life Dreaming of a Smoky Mountain Christmas and yeah. Thank you. Oh, That's nice. Thank you. <clears throat> but you know, I really love... That's nice. Thank you. I like it. What is there about... You know, there's something about... There's something about country singers, western singers, folk singers 
a quality in the voice. A little vibrato or a vulnerability or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're just... He said, I'm dreaming of it. Well, I don't mean that. He said, I just woke him out in Christmas. But you know, I want those dreams to come back to me. <laughs> it's got a feeling there. I know, it's true. We're just so pitiful. Yeah, well, I don't mean that. No. <laughs> But they're always remorseful songs, and you're well, dreaming, a and a woman has left you, and you're on a railroad track, and you're drinking a cup of coffee, and your dog died. And... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Would you like me to play something you say? I'll tell you what, it's not fair to sing new Christmas songs. I think it's nice to have them, but there's nothing like the old traditional songs. I think we should all get in the Christmas spirit, sing a little bit of Jingle Bells, and I think you, you think should too early? sing... The... No! I don't think it's too early. I don't mean to you put th Christmas down, but... Oh, come on, you're just trying to get out of singing. You well, want... what would you want to sing? <laughs> I want to sing Take it easy with Jingle Bells. Jingle, jingle Bells, bells. bells. as a country artist. Sing it that way. A jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. <laughs> come on, Jingle You want to sing Jingle Bells? One chord oh, for Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Half the people don't know the second chorus anyway. Yeah, that's the part you know. I was going to have you sing. That oh, thing. I know that. Dashing with bells yeah, on how... Bob Dale Pride. Went, do, 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 make our wish and make yeah, our wish. How we know. Why <laughs> am I talking like this? <laughs> Hold uh, your horse, I Gene. Think... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pat Buttram. That's why I'm doing Pat Buttram. Oh, Buttram. that's right. Yeah. I remember. Okay, you. we have to take a break here? We have to. Of course, when we will, we have to. <laughs>